Excited to vlog. I haven't vlogged in two weeks, okay? It's a very long time. So today I thought I would do kind of like a day in the life of a work day, like kind of showing like my healthy routines and basically how I stay on track with like a super busy lifestyle. So like I have a lot to do today, but it's good because the majority of what I have to do is still at home. So I'll still be able to vlog and do all my things. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, I feel like I have a lot to update you guys on. And I have told you guys on my Instagram story, but I haven't told you on here. I have one of my best mates, Matt. He's staying with us for four weeks and it's been like a week. He's such a legend. Um, yeah, he's 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 learning me OCD rules. Uh, yeah, he's starting to realize I'm a bit of a clean freak and he ain't. So I think that I always do after like a workout or in the morning is I have a cold shower. Honestly, if you're an OG, you'd know that like I cannot stress enough the power of a cold shower. I honestly just feel like so much more alert and like it's like a trigger point to like kind of start my day with a good attitude and like a motivating mindset. That's just me. I know it's just a cold shower, but like it does a lot. So before I get ready to spend a few hours at my desk, one thing I definitely always do is make sure my environment is clean and smells nice. So I'm just gonna pop some essential oils in here. It's, this is the cutest thing ever. I got it from the Hot Dollar store. It's actually like super nice. I don't know what it is. I think it's a cactus. And you just pop a candle in here and then the essential oils up here. It's so good and it just like, it's so easy and it smells so nice. currently about to do one of the recipes for my 28 day challenge. So basically I'm just gonna cook it off, I'm gonna follow the instructions and then get some photos of it because I really need some photos for the actual program. So as you guys know, I did work with a registered dietitian to create these recipes and these instructions and everything. So I just have it all up here and then I am currently gonna cook some quinoa in here, I've got some ghee, I've got all the ingredients and I'm using um, beef bone broth, so I get this from Nutri Organics, but any bone broth will do. I just want to try this one because I haven't actually tried this flavor yet and it's going to be really, really, really nice. So I'll pop the quinoa in here. With my quinoa guys, I make sure the only quinoa that I have is the one that I properly prepare. I have popped up a blog post, as you guys know, I will leave it in the description below. And for those who will be doing this program, quinoa is actually within the diet plan and we are making sure that you do prepare it properly, otherwise it can affect the gut. And that is not what we want. Something that I love about the recipes within this challenge is that they're so simple. And the main reason being is because I say all the time that the gut loves simplicity. So the ingredients in here are just super minimal, gut loving, and they're just so easy to prepare. I'm just preparing all like the um, other little bits and the bobs. And then I've got my grass fed ghee. So this is what I use to cook with. So usually I'll either cook with ghee or like avocado oil, olive oil. Yeah, that we have happening. And then I'm just gonna obviously like pop it all in the bowl, make it look pretty and then take some photos. So I will actually pop the final shot just here. I'm really stoked because the lighting is on point at the moment. Ah. Mm. 
So pro tip when you are doing these recipes, I double everything so then I have leftovers. So literally everything in this diet plan like I generally eat on a daily basis. So these will be like my lunch or like just a snack the next couple of days. So if I'm going to have this as a lunch, I'll like pair it with like some sweet potato, cooked veggies or an extra salad. Or I'll just have it as a snack because as you guys know, I just generally love having like whole foods as a snack. Whether it's like avocado, chicken, tuna, I prefer that over like processed or like packaged foods. So I can just pop these in the fridge and they'll last up to like roughly three days. This is another meal from the challenge. So this one's going to be my breakfast. It's just the omelette. So it's just four eggs with sauerkraut and avocado. Bon appetit. Mom, this is not a feast. Honestly, with these sunnies, if you do not get the right angle, they look horrid. So it's kind of like a one shot opportunity. I'm currently, <laughs> I'm currently just at a cafe. We're getting a coffee, Matt and I. He wants me to help him get content, which works out well because your girl needs content. I've been working so hard on this challenge that I'm like lacking with all my Instagram photos. So we're currently just at my local cafe to get some content and a coffee. What's up guys? Hello world. <laughs> I'm Christy's uh, second chocolate friend. I think I've said that in a previous video, but it's okay. How's living with me? Um, the question is how's living with me? So I am, I can be a pretty messy person. And if you probably know Christy, she's, uh, she can be very, kind of I have my ways I'm likes everything being perfect like right if this was her house everything would be like this and this would be organized yeah it's too messy right and now for me I don't care I'll just like put everything everywhere so uh nobody's learning and I'm honestly so proud of him knuckles okay okay so I've also come back from the fruit shop and <laughs> look how many avocados I brought I'm so afraid for these to go out of season. So yeah, I ended up buying the whole shop of avocados. So hopefully these will last me a week or two. I think it's time for a little update. I feel like I haven't sat down and had like a one-on-one -on -one update with you guys in so long. To be honest with you, I've been feeling super, super stressed over the past three weeks. And it's just a lot to do with like me working really, really hard on my program, trying to keep my content up. I've recently had like a falling out with my Final Cut Pro. And as you guys know, like I'm uploading like two or three videos a week and my Final Cut Pro is completely stuffing up. So I've just had to buy a MacBook Pro because it has more RAMs, all this stuff, like just spent four grand on it. So I was like, mm, that's great. So I'm just waiting on that to arrive. So I haven't been able to be as like efficient and be able to be as consistent with my YouTube channel. So that has stressed me out. And also just with my challenge, I've had like a lot go on. And although I have so many people who are so excited for the 28 day gut reset release, I have a lot of people who are kind of like also like shaming me and telling me that I shouldn't be doing it because I don't have a qualification. And even though that I am working with like professionals on this program, people are still shaming me because I don't have a qualification. And it's really hard because like this program is gonna do nothing but help so many people and I'm so confident and passionate towards it. Like honestly, my main intention for releasing this program is to help people, is to make an impact and to educate people towards the awareness of IBS and the importance of actually like healing it and curing it and creating a good relationship with food. And to be honest, the best qualification within these areas are experience. You can read hundreds of books, you can spend all your time at uni or in front of a computer, but I promise you, if you have not been through IBS or have had gut issues it's so hard to relate and know what people are going through and I that is something that I can offer and I have been able to heal myself from IBS I've spent hours upon hours educating myself towards IBS what it actually is and towards the gut and just basically applying my CRH method on myself and along the way I've had so many of you guys wanting to stick with my journey and I my main focus right now is to try to give you guys the information. Like if I didn't create something or do something to help people with IBS, I, I would feel like guilty. Honestly, it's just my number one goal right now because I literally get messages from you guys like hundreds, hundreds a day of young girls struggling with IBS telling me that it's affecting their relationship with food, affecting their relationship with their family, their self, etc. And like, I'm literally getting shamed upon to doing what I can to help people. And like, I completely understand where people are coming from. I'm not saying that. I do, I do get it. There has been um, dietitians and nutritionists and doctors and everyone, you know, spending years and years of their life studying 
to be able to create these diet plans and to be able to help people that's awesome and you know they can continue killing it but they shouldn't shame me for trying to help also because at the end of the day if you are becoming a nutritionist or a dietitian your goal, your end result is to help people. So I just don't understand why they need to shame other people for trying to help people. Like it just doesn't make sense to me because essentially that is all I'm trying to do. If I don't create something or do something or make an impact when it comes to IBS, I, I will go crazy. I will honestly go crazy. I literally, guys, like I cry from like just being so overwhelmed and happy just on random days because I'm not going through what I'm going through now because I, oh, mm, mm, I can't talk, I'm speechless. Like that's how passionate I am about this because I'm in like no pain anymore. I was in pain daily, like daily. Yes, I do know it is impossible to like cure everyone's IBS who is going to join this program and that everyone is going to benefit from it. But as long as majority of the people are getting the benefits and getting what they want out of the program, then I'm happy. I'm not saying I'm going to cure everyone's IBS because that's like saying you're going to start Jenny Craig and Jenny Craig's like, oh my God, like if you start this diet, like you, you're going to lose like 50 kilos. Yes, the diet may work or the program, but it all comes down to the individual their self. If they're putting in the hard effort and for my program, they're so many things that you need to be doing rather than just eating like it also comes down to your lifestyle it comes down to your mental state and obviously all of this is spoken about within the program so yes that's that that's just been one stress because I have been getting quite a fair bit of hate honestly like I literally had someone come to me at the gym and she verbally had like a screaming match with me it was crazy and I actually posted it on my story saying like I was just so exhausted like we had like a verbal, it was it was just not great. Like conflict isn't really my thing, but we were verbally just going at it. And I was, yeah, I actually went to school with her and she was just basically shutting me down as, as a person and saying I shouldn't be doing this. You know, I shouldn't even be trying to help people. And I was just like, I'm just really confused as in why people don't want you to help people because you don't have a qualification. Because honestly, my channel, my Instagram, that is my main focus, is to help people. And I get messages daily of people saying how much I am helping them. But then I also get told from outsiders that I shouldn't do that, you know. I should stop all of that because I don't have a qualification. Hang on, this is tilting and it's stressing me out. So basically all the people that I have helped and the messages, like the hundreds of messages that I get, I shouldn't have got because I shouldn't have helped them in the first place because I don't have a qualification. See, that is just a bundle of confusion for me. So that is basically where I'm at. I'm just so confused in what the world is coming to. Like we should all just be supporting people who at least try to help, who at least try to make an impact. And yeah, when this girl came up to me at the gym, like it just, it really affected me hard. And I think it affected me so much because she was basically just like, calling me all these names and talking about me as a teenager saying because I was like this as a teenager at the age of like 15 that I shouldn't own my own business I shouldn't do all of this and who you are in the past is just so irrelevant and I just feel like it's so unnecessary for people to bring that up like she was you know bringing me up as a teenager saying I was a horrible teenager and that I would lie and I would steal and all this stuff and the reason why I got so offended is because I did none of it and for her to even bring this up in such an irrelevant thing like it just it really did and like I really just wanted to tell you guys like a little bit of insight in why I've been stressed and not shaming this girl at all and I'm not really even talking about the girl herself like I'm really kind of like just letting you guys know why I've been kind of like MIA on like my Instagram stories and why I am so drained. But overall, like I know that if I do want to create stuff great, if I am going to, you know, try and help people, I know that there is going to be a lot of hate along the way. And there always has been. Like I know for a sheer fact, the more love that I'm going to get and the more support that I'm getting, the more hate I'm also getting. And I just got to learn to deal with it. And I'm so lucky that I do have such an amazing support group like you guys. Because honestly, like I won, I wouldn't be here where I am today if it wasn't for you guys. And I wouldn't continue to do what I'm doing if it wasn't for you guys. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> yeah, I just um, 
we're not doing okay when it comes to the stress side, but I actually have my assistant MJ. He is amazing. He's just like kind of like, it wasn't for him also. Like I want to give a shout out to MJ. I love you, man. He has been like taking a lot off my shoulders so I can just fully focus on this gut reset challenge and also focus on me and like my mental health and like reducing my stress because like, Ooh, girl. And with my career and putting my life out there on a daily basis, it can be really confronting and hard. Like people can be so me, like so me. And this happens to all Instagrammers, all YouTubers, anyone who is an influencer or just putting their self out there. We do, we generally do get a lot of hate because unfortunately there are a lot of nasty people out there. So that itself can put like so much toll on your mental state, on you as a person. And yeah, I've just kind of like, oh, been going through a few weeks of just like getting myself like, you know, like being confident in what I'm doing, being confident in who I am, because it is like people can really shut you down. And if that many people do it and it's so consistent, almost impossible not to bring you down. So yeah, I'm currently just out of that rut, feeling so much better. Like I've been doing a lot of meditating, a lot of yoga, like eating really, really well, making sure that like I've added another meal in just to make sure that I have enough energy for like my mental clarity and everything and I am I'm feeling so much better also what I wanted to update you guys on is I've had a lot of you guys ask me about the parasites so within a few vlogs back I was talking about like I'm going to get like my bloods done I was going to do a stool test because I seriously thought I had parasites the results came back they were they came back a couple of weeks ago but I did want to actually address it on my YouTube channel before Instagram because like it's a bigger audience and I feel like the video is always up there so people don't miss it see it on your story like people always miss it etc the results came back and they were negative so I didn't actually have parasites and that just really really confused me but because I asked for your guys advice and I was like I don't know what this could be like could you guys help me I do think it's parasites anyway like you guys are honestly like every time I ask for advice advice is just like so wise so knowledgeable and it all like nine out of ten times I'll get an answer from the question that I'm asking so it's amazing anyway so I was going through the comments on the video and someone actually was like your body could be through ketosis so when I was looking at the symptoms that I was feeling the main first things that was coming up was parasites so that's what I thought like that's why I thought I had parasites and because it like it really it just it fit the shoe fit you know I came back from Bali like I was just like yeah parasites but ever since um, going on this journey of healing my IBS what I have been doing is reducing the foods that are like feeding like bad gut bacteria in my gut a majority of them foods were actually high carbohydrated foods so even like my grains my quinoa my sweet potato and like like, um, starchy vegetables so like yes my sweet potato my potatoes um, corn pumpkin all them starchy vegetables were still actually feeding my bad gut bacteria so I actually took all of them out of my diet and then start to incorporate more fish more fat more nuts more seeds more olive oils Foods that were really generally making me thrive and it honestly did like never felt any discomfort after food like I was literally thriving and I still am like I'm absolutely thriving but when I um, took all of these things out of my diet I generally feel as though it did it, it was a massive massive improvement on my gut and it was probably the main reason why I was able to like switch my gut bacteria to be more good than bad so anyway I took all the starchy vegetables and grains out of my diet so I generally wasn't having much carbs and because my gut was feeling so good that's what my main focus was on I was like okay cool I'm um, eating for Oh my god I feel amazing rah, rah, rah. but I was actually having the symptoms of like not really sleeping I was cramping and I wasn't really recovering from my workouts so I just thought that was like to do with the parasites and everything but after reading your guys comments and my results coming back negative someone actually suggested that my body could be in ketosis without me knowing because there's a lot of bodies that apparently go in and out of ketosis quite easily so I was looking into that and my body type is like this so it's like that body type where it's like really hard to put on um, muscle mass it's really hard to put on fat and apparently their body types can go into ketosis quite easily don't quote me on it this is just what like a few people said in my comments so I haven't done much research about it the thing is I don't feel like my body was going to actual ketosis because I definitely wasn't going like that low carb I just wasn't having as much carbs as my body was used to so after reading them comments I decided to actually start to incorporate starchy vegetables within my diet again and see if like I did want to see how my gut would react to that because that again was my main focus so firstly I started to incorporate some starchy vegetables and quinoa but with my quinoa I made sure that I pre-soaked it and prepare it properly so I do have instructions on how to do this on my blog I will leave it in the description below so you can go check that out so ever since incorporating like sweet potato quinoa pumpkin all the starchy vegetables and like more paleo breads and stuff like that I am feeling like I'm not feeling like better as so but them symptoms they haven't come back so I'm not cramping anymore I'm sleeping amazingly so I find 
having um, my like majority of my carbohydrates before bed is when I feel best personally. So I sleep better and I wake up with a lot of energy. So a lot of people are completely different and if they have carbs before bed, they can't actually sleep and they enjoy having carbs around their training, which is so fine. Like I just find it's all about like finding what works for your body. I personally thrive off like having like heaps of fat and protein throughout the day. I don't feel like lethargic at all. I don't feel bloated because like carbohydrates they do tend to bloat me whether it is starchy vegetables like sweet potato or paleo breads and stuff they do actually bloat me and make me feel a little bit sluggish and tired and it is because of the carbohydrates or just like the raise in my insulin levels because I am not used to it I'm now used to like a higher fat higher protein diet and that is generally what I thrive off but yes I have started to add starchy vegetable and quinoa within my diet especially at night time I make sure I have my carbs around night so I'll even have like dates and stuff like that so I'll have like my date protein balls along with quinoa or sweet potato along with my fish so ever since adding them um, starchy vegetables in my diet I do feel better when it comes to my sleeping um, my training etc my gut it didn't really affect my gut in any way so overall my gut is still thriving which I am so thankful for and I will continue to add all these starchy vegetables and quinoa within my diet because like I said I'm feeling good in all areas of my life now and I find like I've finally been able to like find the perfect diet for me and like I said guys it's about finding the perfect diet for you like some people generally thrive off carbohydrates all throughout the day and little fat and moderate protein and it's just really about finding what works for you personally i feel like with my gut i'm thriving off this diet and feeling absolutely amazing i don't give a fuck what any like haters say you know mm -hmm. pardon me i'm waiting on tiffany because we're gonna go for a walk this afternoon because like she currently has a new boyfriend so we're like it's great <laughs> we're not really seeing each other so we booked in like a date this afternoon so i'm pretty excited for that we're just gonna go for a walk make some dinner maybe have some red wine as you guys have seen on my insta story i'm like low-key obsessed with red wine it actually really settles my tummy and i found like a red wine that i love and i've literally been having it every night and i'm like balance but it does actually have a lot of antioxidants and it is anti-inflammatory. So who knows? I could maybe just continue having one a night. <laughs> Don't quote me on it. Hey, say hey to the vlog. Hey, vlog, what up, girl? <laughs> what if there's a few guys watching, man? That's sexist. What? You said what up, girls. What up, girl? I, I, come on, I, I have like, I think it's like, 9% guys on YouTube? Nice. I know that, but I'm, I'm catering for the, the majority. Oh, he's know? catering for the majority, okay. Screw the guys. Oh, uh, yeah. It's all girl power here. It's girl power. Guys. This is this is why we love you, man. This is why we love you. Man, this is why, you know, I was welcomed into your life and I've just been so happy ever since. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I have that on camera as well so I can hold I that against you, you forever. All right. Okay, so I have just cooked my salmon and then I have some um, bean sprouts and some toasted almond flakes which I'm recently obsessed with and I just popped some Himalayan salt. Then we've got some sweet potato chippies in here but I did want to show you guys the brand of cashew cheese that I'm recently obsessed with. Yeah, it's peace, love and vegetables. This one is amazing so it's the dill one. So I just have it with that and yes, yeah, so simple but honestly my favourite dinner. I could literally have this every night. I've got tea hooked on the salmon and the red wine. Uh-huh. 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 Oh yeah, show us. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that looks that looks scrumptious, babe. So yes, Tiffany still exists. Hi. Hello. Dinner with Bay. Uh -huh. Yes. So that's the handle. That's the handle. Okay, so you're gonna take a picture. You got a picture. Go. Three, two, one. You look good. You get it? Yeah. Can I see it? Yeah. Have a look. Oh yeah. Do you know that song? Oh Ooh, yeah. Okay, and action. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>